Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to convert time series data from one level to another. So for example, from weekly to monthly, or from daily to weekly, or from weekly to monthly to quarterly to yearly, so whichever level you want. So I have been facing this issue for quite some time on converting data from one level to another in Excel. And now I figured out a way using pivot table. And I think this is the easiest way. So I wanted to share with you. So here you can see that we have data of Bitcoin price. We have data uh, up to 2017 and starting from 2011, something like that. Yeah, September 2011 to 2017, November 2017. And we have the opening price, high price, low price, closing price, Bitcoin volume in BTC, in currency and weighted price. Okay. So now you see this data is actually on weekly level, right? This data is on weekly level, but we want to have it, let's say in the monthly level. What is the average monthly price for a Bitcoin? Okay. And note that these values are actually in USD. So for example, here, the opening price was 6,609 for one BTC on November 19, 2017. And the weighted price was 6,610, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to convert it from weekly to monthly level data, the average value, average price on monthly level. And normally what we could do is we could actually kind of take the average so let's say we take the average of these values, then we take the average of these values. So sometimes you see there are three values, sometimes you see there are five values. Normally there should, there should be four because in, in every month we have in general four weeks, but sometimes because of the position of the dates, it could be one more and one less. But anyway, just doing the calculation manually, creating another column here, makes it really kind of daunting task, right? So what we are going to do, we are going to use pivot table and to convert from one level to another level, which you can apply for any levels of data actually. But here I'm going to show you with this example of weekly data. So first I'm just going to select these two columns. So you need to have the date file selected and the variable of your interest. So here actually I can select all of them, but for simplicity, I'm going to show with only two of them. So I have selected the whole data set here. Uh, actually, maybe it's better if I just select uh, these two and I press shift control and the down arrow. So it selects exactly the part where I have data. Okay. So I selected this part here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going here in, a, in insert and then here pivot table. So here you see, I have to select the range of my data. Okay, so here I exactly have the range where I have the data. Okay, and then here you can choose whether you want to have the pivot table in a new worksheet or in the existing worksheet. So I will go for a new worksheet because it looks clean. So I will just click OK. And here we are. So here you see our pivot table, but here we don't have anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on date and then I have the dates, but I also need the price of the Bitcoin. So here I click it and we have the opening price of the Bitcoin. And here we, you see we have tick quarters and years. So if I click here, you will see for this 2011, we cover two quarters, okay? This is the total for 2011, so $38, and of which $10 of Bitcoin transaction was in quarter three and $27 was in quarter four. Here you see 2012, we also have on quarterly level. So we have the value on yearly level as well. So this is the yearly value and these are the quarterly values, right? So if you click here again, you will actually see on monthly level as well. So these are the sums for the months, each month, how much of Bitcoin transaction actually happened, right? So we can actually go for all of them. But now if you are interested, so if you're interested only on the quarterly level, then you can just click here and you can select the quarterly price. But remember, this is actually sum, okay? These are the sum of 
all the prices in that year. These are all the prices, sum of all the prices, all the transaction uh, prices in that uh, quarter one of 2013. Okay, so remember that. So now let's say, but we will convert it to the average because we are not really interested maybe in the sum. We are interested on the average price throughout that year, average price throughout that quarter, average price throughout that month, right? So we are going there. So what I'm going to do is simply untick this one, quarters. So now we have the monthly prices, right? But still, remember, these are the sum of prices. But we want to have the average prices. So what we are going to do, we are just going to click here. And here you see value field settings, settings. So you click here and here we have some options. Here, I'm just going to select the average one. So you see you have other options which you can use, but for now I'm interested in average. So I'm just going to click on the average and click okay. So you see on average on September, 2011, the Bitcoin price was, one Bitcoin price was $5.46. If I want to see the 2017, I see that on average in November it was 6,784. So if I just like open up all of it, then I can see all the average prices on monthly level. So similarly, as you can see, you can actually convert any data from one level to another level. And what I like most about this approach is that now you can simply just copy these values and paste it here. And then you can create your new time series with the monthly time series, okay? instead of taking average every time we can simply just copy all the values and you can create your new uh, time series data right and meanwhile just wanted to mention that we have a paper on next day bitcoin price forecast as i was showing the example of bitcoin so you may find this paper useful if you're interested in bitcoin or cryptocurrency in general so have a look on that you will also find the link of this paper below in the video description and uh, thank you for watching Feel free to share the video with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to Research Hub.